What is up everybody, AG here back again with another video. So I'll be checking out the latest trailer that Square Enix has dropped for Final Fantasy 16. And I believe this is the announcement trailer for the PC version of Final Fantasy 16. So without further ado, let's check out this trailer. <laughs> Make ready. Yes, finally. Uh, I watched a dominant kill my brother right in front of me, and I did nothing. But now I can. Over fifty award nominations and wins. It won best uh, music in the Game Awards. I'm little lamb to the slaughter with you. Hello there. A very even a complete edition. Nice. The Rising Tide DLC. Diva, Titan, Ramu, Garuda, the Python. Odin, defeat Titan Garuda Phoenix against um, Bahamut, I believe And then it's... I believe that was Ultima Was that Ultima? I might be wrong It looked like Ultima but I'm not really sure so <laughs> wrong button. Sorry, wrong button. <laughs> I was supposed to press the force button, but I pressed the press the four button instead. So okay, there you have it. Final Fantasy 16 will be available on PC September 17, 2024, which is less than a month. And as a matter of fact, the demo is available right now and i'm just glad that this is not some epic game store exclusive booth like just like what happened to alan wake 2 and uh, what happened to the uh, final fantasy remake fortunately the intricate version of final fantasy remake is available on scene uh, so i'm really glad that final fantasy 16 is available on both epic game store and on Steam. And as a matter of fact, if you guys are my I wanna I kinda wanna check out the spec for Final Fantasy 16. As you can see, the demo for Final Fantasy 16 is available on Steam right now. You can go ahead and download it. And the game will be uh fully released on September 18. And I believe this is the base game. And then the, the the complete edition, and then they have the the complete edition, which is the the DLC as well, which includes the Echoes of the Fallen DLC. And this is the what the expansion pass, then the the Rising Tide DLC. So, long story short, um, I believe this is the 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 full package. Hopefully, hopefully this is the full package and nothing else. And let's go all the way down and I I guess I just wanna have a look at the system requirement for the Final Fantasy 16 update. So holy mother G. The minimum requirement memory is 16 GB RAM. Graphics is like what? Um you need an either an MD Radeon RX5700 or an NVIDIA GTX 1070. Holy mother of G! Storage 170 GB? Bro, that's that's a lot. That's huge. That's a lot of space required for. <laughs> but then again, uh, from what I understand, the, 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 the game is kind of big, so it kind of makes sense. If I remember correctly, uh, FF16 wheel was only one disc. So one disc can fit in 170 GB. If that's the case, right? How big is um, FF7 Reverb? 
Because FM7 Rebirth took like what? Two discs? Assuming one disc is taken um, safe up to like what? 200 GB? So Rebirth is like what? Probably about a 400 GB game? Holy mother god, that, that's huge man. If, if, if and only if Rebirth will be available on PC. But I'm pretty sure sometime later in the, in the future, Spare Enix is gonna release um, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth on PC. I'm just curious how big the game is going to be in terms of power size, man. Because two Ds are required to play that freaking game on the PlayStation 5. So I'm really curious um, how big the, the, the I know that it's a ridiculously big game in terms of the the, the world of the world side let the world landscape. But I'm just curious how big in terms of the the the, the file size. And as well, recommended uh, requirement 16 GB RAM as well. Um, I'm not gonna bother looking at the processor. Um, AMD Radeon 6700 XT and you need a 2080 uh, you need at least uh, you are recommended to have at least uh, 2080 so okay. okay I will definitely check out the demo without a shadow or doubt but will I play this um, game on PC on day one when this game is release us on, on PC I will have to check out the demo first and then only I will give my answer and a little bit off topic but it's kind of related to Final Fantasy as well um, Tanaka Atsuko-san who is the voice the Japanese voice actress for Ultimisha from Final Fantasy Age which happens, which happens to be my my favorite Final Fantasy game of all time because I grew up playing Final Fantasy VIII since I was a kid. Unlike I know, I know most of you guys um grew up playing seven, but well, but me, I grew up playing it. But that we can talk about that um next time. Well, hey, I'm I'm gonna talk about um the voice actress for Ultimisha, the final boss for. It's like the vo the Japanese voice actress for Ultimisha from Final Fantasy VIII, Tanaka Atsuko san. Apparently, he passed away due to an undisclosed illness at the age of 61. She is um, Tanaka Atsuko san, also is the voice actress for Sanagi Motoko from Boss in the Shell. Lisa Lisa from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. She's the Japanese voice actress for Bayonetta. And she's Conan from the Naruto series. And she's um, the Japanese dub for Trish from Devil May Cry. So, yeah, a lot of. Uh, she voices quite a lot of notable roles. So, it's it kind of breaks my heart to hear that such a quite an iconic voice actress has passed away at the age of 67 so my condolences to the family and may her soul rest in peace 